Warmest welcomes from the SECC in Glasgow for another Bike Shows UK. Hi, I'm Stu Evans and it's with much delight that I'm here to welcome you to the Great Scottish Bike Show here at the SECC in Glasgow. We've got a bulging package of a show for you this week, so grab your bits and let's have a look what we've got for you. This week from the Great Scottish Bike Show in Glasgow, I get shown around a 1600cc boom trike. Find out where to learn how to do stunts. We have a chat with the stunt riders. We'll take you for a ride on the best roads in Glasgow. On a Scottish theme, Billy Connolly rode one of these very trikes all around the UK. This particular one is a boom trike and it's got a 1600cc fuel injected VW engine, I'm right in thinking. Absolutely correct. Right, can you tell us what the thing's built of please, Anthony? Uh, yeah, like you said, you've got a 1600 fuel injection engine that's brand new from the Mexico plant. Okay. Uh, the chassis, the front section's solid steel, epoxy coated. Okay. All the shiny stuff is stainless steel, Alrighty. it's not chrome, so nice and easy to clean. Yeah, just wipe it down. And all the body is GOP fiberglass with gel coated paint in there so there's no rust issues with it whatsoever and you've got a tow bar if you want to take your uh take your yeah you can tow up to about 400 kilograms so it's a large trailer tent small caravan marvelous can we drop the body down sure. so we can see what the rest of it looks like it's a bit of a weight yeah okay it's a stylish beast to say the least absolutely what are these things uh handle like mate uh, they hangle really good, it's like a go-kart almost. You can whip one of these round the bends quicker than a motorbike. And it's got to take a bit of getting used to the old uh, car gear change. Yeah, well it drives like a car, same controls, but your throttle's here basically. And of course you need plenty of road, plenty of road space to get one of these, which you've got no shortage of here in Scotland. <laughs> Shame can't be said about yeah, the weather. Yeah, just haven't got the weather, yeah. Not today anyway. And these things have even got a stereo. Yeah, nice remote waterproof. control waterproof uh, stereo. So there you go, you fancy getting some uh, wind in your hair and some flies in your teeth, this could be an alternative. This year, the Great Scottish Bike Show is being held at the SECC in Glasgow. With a huge variety of stalls, there's everything for the novice or veteran biker. Jackets, helmets, tools, parts and lots, lots more. The nutcases behind me are Sonny Ferguson and Julie Porter warming up here in Scotland, ready to go for their stunt challenge. This is Julie, fresh back from a trip up the tarmac on the back of Sunny Ferguson. Julie, how did you get involved in that? I volunteered myself, so I can't say I got roped into it. I actually wanted to, to actually go on the back of him, and uh, he didn't want me to go on at first. Right. Um, he wanted to get his own skills up and make sure he could ride the bike as best as he could before he allowed me on. 
So and he got, I seen him get to that point, so I sort of pestered him until he let me... Well, once you got to that point, you were straight in there? Yep, straight in. And what's your favourite, what's your favourite stunt? Um, well, it changes, like, we've been doing it for four years now, so every year we learn new tricks, so the trick we learn that year is the one you like the most. <laughs> okay. Uh, and I would say the one I like the most is where I sit on the front of the handlebars, yeah. and we wheelie and touch the back end down. So that's... <laughs> Quite scary. scary so, as you yeah, like mine. Uh, we use the second bike for doing all the donuts and the smoking. Oh right, yeah. Uh, and it's where I jump on the front pegs while the bike's actually moving. Uh -huh. uh, and they've just been left on there, but they are on the other bike as well. Oh, right, so yeah. they're not actually used on that anymore. No. Not, not at the moment, anyway. Well, for your lunacy, madam, I salute you. If you fancy trying your hand at a few cracking stunts, some of those which are going on outside of here today, you can. You can go to a stunt school to learn them. And this is Roy. Roy, what can yeah. we learn at your stunt school? Well, basically wheelies, stoppies, but the major thing is actually bike control. The most people think that people lack is bike control, so once we get that over with, it's doing wheelies and stoppies, that's what people mainly so ask for. I could turn up at your school, learn a bit of bike control, and then you'd move on, show us how to what? Pull a nice high wheelie, do a few stoppies. Yeah. And how much would it cost me to have a go at that? Usually about three hours, it'd be 150 pounds if you want to use your own bike. But if you want to use one of our Bandit 1200s, uh, it's 250 pounds. Strangely, I think using one of your bikes is a far better idea. <laughs> yeah. OK, it's time to join our guardian angel for a trip around beautiful Scotland. Have a look at some drinking holes and some of the high roads and low roads. Hi, my name is Roy Harley. I'm the Scottish Area Rep for NABD, the National Association for Bikers with a Disability. We raise money and funds to help bikers who have been injured or are disabled to get back on the road through adaptions to their machines. This is my son David. He's my regular pillion when I take my trike out for a run. This is my baby. It's a Robin Reliant 850. It's 25 years old and I've been building it over the last four years. Uh, with a lot of help with some friends and some local engineers to do some of the adaptions and modifications that have been necessary for me to drive it. My disability required my trike to be modified so I could operate everything from the right hand side and also had special seating arranged because of the problems I have with my hips and my spine. Some of the more recent changes I've done to the trike have included the twin baits headlight on the front, uh, the k &N filter to go along with the stainless exhaust which has given me more power and better fuel consumption. The petrol tank's now been switched to the back. Uh, instead of the initial bike tank, we've got a 20 litre jerry can, which gives me greater range when I'm out travelling. Our empty lemonade bottle is actually there to protect my distributor from water when I'm out running. As I have found to my cost, water in the distributor does not go well. I take a lot of stick because it's a, re a reliant trike, but I've had it doing 85 flat out and it gets scary driving at that speed. Right. That's enough about me. Now some more information on some of the shops and that around the area. If you're in the Edinburgh or the Central Belt, Jim Allen Motorcycles is a place to visit if you're looking for a new or a used machine or even spare parts. For those who are Harley Davidson owners, then it must be West Coast Motorcycles in Glasgow. They have a wide variety of machines in the shop. Spares are not a problem. For those who are looking for places to go for a drink, then in Glasgow it's a solid rock cafe. Seemingly it's close to Central Station. Right, I'm going to take a cyber chill out for a few minutes here at the Internet Cafe. Join us back after the break and we're going to have more from the great Scottish Motorcycle Show and we'll be joining our Guardian Angel for some more highlights in the Highlands. Coming up after the break, Stevie Bryerton entertains us with his daredevil stunts. Have a look at all the latest biking trends in the Glasgow Fashion Show. I discover how this rusting wreck has been transformed. Stevie, you must be 
you're pretty buzzing after that little laugh. Yeah, it gets you going a little bit. Yeah, I imagine, mate. The crowd certainly enjoyed that as well. Yeah, it keeps the heart rate going. What's, what's your favourite out of all that lot, mate? Uh, I like uh, scraping the tailpiece of my bandit. Because uh -huh. I know there's nothing to stop it going upside down. <laughs> Every time you do it, your heart's going. I bet your heart's going. Like do you not? Do you not get proper scared anymore? That scares me. <laughs> That's the only thing that still scares me. That's why I like it. And how long? You, how long have you been practicing to be able to do that? Uh, been practicing that. It's just like a continuation of other stunts, taking it a bit further and a bit further. But probably about six months yeah. practicing doing that one. Yeah. Six months. Yeah. So I can see why you won the 2001 Stand Championships, mate. Yeah. 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 Well done. Good. Thanks, Thanks a lot. lot. Okay. <laughs> Before we show you more of what's going on at the Great Scottish Bike Show, we're going to rejoin our guardian angel Roy for some more Highland hijinks. For those of you wanting some information on roads to ride in Scotland, we're in Scotland, we've got the best roads in the country. There's so many to choose from, you can go Stirling up north, you can go for Glasgow up north. Loch Lomond has got some nice scenic routes, some nice stretches. I'm just going to collect the rest of the boys and we're going for a run. Head out of Glasgow to the north and head towards the Trossachs. This area is known as Queen's View. Some nice roads, some nice bends, some nice straights. In, which is um, a biker's pub, the main road to the Trossachs in Veredi, etc., where all the bikers use. Thanks very much for joining us. As you can see, Scotland has provided us with some of its usual weather. I'm now going to go. If there's any other information you want about NABD, you'll find it on our website www.nabd.org.uk Thanks very much. See you again. The latest crash helmets get quieter and quieter and quieter, but Anything over 50 miles an hour, if you're not using earplugs, the chances are you are damaging your, your hearing. This man here, Ian, makes earplugs to help us, us sort of guys out. I do. Tell yeah. us what you can do for us. Well, basically what we're doing is we're custom making the plugs because every ear in the world is different. So therefore you can't conform a standard to something which is different in every, every individual's case. So we make the plugs so, to the individual So these earplugs are custom made purely for yours or my ears. Correct. That's giving you a lot greater protection Correct. than the push-in type. Yeah. And what are they made out of, Ian? They're made of medical grade silicon. Medical grade silicon? Yeah, that's what, that's what we do. It take about 10 to 15, 15 minutes to make. So there you go, guys. There's perhaps that's one silicon implant you can get your hands on. This little bike really is causing a stir, both here at the Scottish Motorcycle Show and indeed throughout the country. This is Harley's latest and probably the greatest. This is their V-Rod. This is a 115 brake horsepower, 135 mile an hour cruiser. That, the reports tell us, handles. And this is Steve, who sells them. So Steve, sell it to me. This machine, you'll find truly amazing to ride. Water cooled, very smooth to ride, low centre of gravity, low seat height, and it'll bring a massive smell to your face. Not only that, everybody that sees you riding it, they want to take your picture, you'll have the greatest fun going on it. Absolutely amazing. I mean, the styling is absolutely exceptional, which you would expect for £14,000. But, you know, it handles and it has the low centre of gravity, keeping the weight low to the road. Talking of low centre of gravity, this is the latest Firebolt. This is um, Buell's latest offering. It's got some very innovative features, I understand. Um, I believe you've got fuel that's held within the frame. Yep. The oil is held within the swinging arm. Yep. It's got 
a front disc which is bolted to the rim of the wheel. Correct. And what does it, what, what's all this aiming towards? It's all about the centralisation of mass. This is one of Eric Buell's philosophies when he designed this bike. If you centralise the, the mass in the bike, you can get it to handle a lot quicker and flick it through the corners faster, which is going to give you a greater turning speed. Okay, I noticed that the, the actual angle of the steering head and the forks is it's an extreme angle. Does that make it very prone to tank slapping? Not at all, because again, due to the mass centralisation, instead of the weight being high up in the bike, you put pressure on the front end, the weight's all in the centre of the bike, which allows the front end to get such a sharp steering angle on it and still be in a comfortable bike to ride. So it's a big V-twin, it's got yep. masses of torque. Um, I've seen a couple of guys going on racetracks on these things, and they really do go like the clappers. I mean, have you ridden one? Still get this one on the road, desperate for a shot of it, but I call these the lazy way to go fast, because you don't have to try you're getting crazy lean angles on it, and the handling is just absolutely superb. Great, well I'm gonna go and arrange myself a test ride on one of these babies. The fashion show gives you a chance to see the latest trends, and you also get to look at the tasty birds. Rusting wreck, but where is that bike now? Well, from a bike from Scrapyard to a Concours classic bike such as this, the man responsible is Jim. Jim found this bike mouldering underneath uh, a Scrapyard uh, in 1988, and here we are, year 2002, and this gorgeous, pristine Royal Enfield is what you see before you. Well done. It is yeah. absolutely spanking. You've obviously taken it. How long has it taken you? Well, from that until it was MOT'd and on the road, Two and a half years. Two and a half years. But that's ongoing. It's not finished yet. Is it not? What you need you... pennies to do wee bits, and there's wee bits need doing. What's still to be done? It looks mint to me. Well, the last bit was this. You can't find that in the corner. Why is he? I um... came from Leicester. <laughs> I see. And I got it done up from then. The silencer I had to have made. That's a one-off, is it? One-off. How much does something like that cost? You're talking about 130 quid. That's not very good. And then you've got to chrome it on top of that. Right. It's now copper plated, nickel plated and chrome plated. So it shouldn't rust then? It will still be there when I'm not. What are all these um, remarkable selection of levers <laughs> going on here? It's a, a way of driving all together. This is the front brake. They're inverted levers. And you can see there, there's no chance of anybody to cut up those, is there? So what, the cable runs through the, the inside of the handlebar? cable runs in through the handlebar, here. And uh, I couldn't help but notice your twist grip's a bit stiff, there, Jim. There's no twist grip. You work with levers. Everything's with levers. That's the accelerator, and that's the mixture. Right? The okay. horn. Marvellous. The gear lever. <laughs> you pull up for first, uh -huh. and down for second and third. There's three speeds. OK. The foot brake down there. And if right. you want lights, you've got to get some gas. Gas. <laughs> this is a generator here from carbide and water. Uh -huh. We touch a water on the top, gives off acetylene gas, which comes along the pipes, and you light it with a match. Well, I rode one of these in India at Christmas time, and I don't actually think that they've actually advanced beyond that. <laughs> Thanks very much, Jim. <laughs> You're very welcome. OK, it's that time of the show again. It's the Bike Brain Quiz. It's quite simple. You two guys are working as a team to answer as many questions as you can within 60 seconds. The team which answers the most questions in 60 seconds at the end of the series wins a day at the Yamaha Race School at a track of your choice. Got the idea? Yep. When you know an answer, beep your horn. OK then, start the clock. Let's begin. Which Scott came second in last year's British Superbike Championship? Steve Heslop. You're, yes, you're quite correct. Which manufacturer makes the W650 bike? Kawasaki. You're right again. Where in Italy are Ducati based? Bologna. Yeah, yep, you're right. Who was the 2001 World Super Sports Champion? Andrew Pett. Yeah, you're right. True or false? BMW made bikes before they made cars. True. Yes, you're right again. 
<laughs> Which Italian manufacturer has its UK headquarters here in Scotland? Aprilia. Yay, attaboy. What is the engine capacity of the 2002 Fireblade? 9546. Oh, there's no stopping you now, my friend. Which stunt rider makes his return at this show? Etiquette. Go, oh, you're on a roll. Which track is the only... Oh, I've started, so I'll finish. Which track is the only Scottish venue on the British Superbike calendar? Not Kel. Which one do you reckon? Not Kel. Right, we're just going to run these results through the latest computer. The computer tells me you have scored nine. Yay! <laughs> As the series goes on, we'll see which team gets to enjoy the Yamaha race day, courtesy of Bike Shows UK. I thought the show was very good. Uh, the stunts were excellent. Shame about the weather. Um, the clothing was excellent. Uh, got some got some good deals. <laughs> the red light is on. <laughs> oh, camera shy day. Basically shopping for leathers. That's all we're interested in. We're not interested in the bikes because we've got the bikes already. The stunts. The stunts. Definitely yeah. stunts. Two gorgeous guys in the tight tight suits. Motorbikes, pinching the bum. Motorbikes, pinching the bum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was great. It was absolutely fabulous. Just have a look around, see what we can get. Some of the, some ideas with the leathers and things like that, and stuff for the bike. We're actually we're, we're nosy. We're just interested in bikes, really. That was that. Yeah. That was that. Really, just and we heard about the show, so thought come along. I yeah. love the fashion yeah. show. Yeah. Brilliant. I think most of the clothing stalls, you always get much cheaper prices at the show than you do. And most of the dealers. The girls. <laughs> no, the bikes definitely. The stunt show itself was pretty good as well. Leather, I like the leather. <laughs> Guys in the leather. Well, it's my first first year here as a stall in uh, the uh, shop. It's, it's okay, it's been busy. Um, apart from the weather, uh, it's alright, it's been okay. We love coming to bike shows. This has been very brisk today. It's been a very good show. Uh, a lot of public in and uh, sold lots of parts. I would come next year. Well, unfortunately, that's it this week from Bike Shows UK from here in Glasgow. Until we're back next week, don't forget to visit our website and participate in our Bikers Forum online. This show's left me feeling tired out. See ya!